A group huddles together in a village in Ukraine's Kherson region, jostling around a mobile shop, the occasion to buy a small bit of meat in an area still suffering after months of war and Russian occupation. A scrap of fat to add to their soup. It's a struggle here to keep warm. Power is still cut off after almost a year. But the cold isn't as bitter as their memories of life behind the Russian front line. They turned people's lives upside down. Some have no roofs over their heads. People are afraid they'll come back again. That's the most important thing for us. We don't care if we don't have any electricity. We can breathe freely again. We hope we don't see those ugly people around here again for 300 years. We're suffering, not living. If you had wood to burn, you were fine, but there were months where I had none. So I just had to put two extra blankets on and sleep like that. Most locals fled these forlorn rural areas months ago, those who had the means or family elsewhere. Farmers can no longer work the fields, which are riddled with bombs and landmines. I asked the demoners to help, but they told me they're busy and probably won't be able to clear my land until autumn. Winter has proved harsh in these villages in southern Ukraine, which until recently were occupied, but still bear the scars of war. Many elderly, vulnerable people remained, although there are some far younger who stayed on here. We've been here and lived through everything since day one. We used to see the explosions light up the skies through the window. 34-year-old Ilona refused to abandon her elderly mother. A widow, she spent her savings to heat the room where she survived with her daughter and newborn twins, Volodymyr and Varvara, born during the occupation. One time, it was after they were born, and there was no electricity. But suddenly, there was a huge explosion. I ran to them and said to myself, if someone has to die, let us all die together, with no suffering. Life is slowly returning to the isolated villages around Kherson. Their survivors relieved at the respite in fighting with the front line pushed back but still struggling through hardship and trauma.